Welcome to part two of my MS, fibromyalgia and other autoimmune disorders series. This is for those of you and really, really anyone who doesn't like holding yoga poses and would rather just work um, with repetition. So we are going to do a standing series today, almost all standing. It's just a 20, maybe 25 minute at the most routine. Um, really, really good stuff for you today. So let's go ahead and we'll just get started right away with the hands of the heart. And just close your eyes for a moment. Begin your ujjayi breathing. If you're not sure what that is, um, we do constrict the throat on the inhale. It's like your, um, your, your vacuuming the soft part of your throat back toward your um, cervical spine, your vertebrae housed in your neck. And on your exhale, you're fanning the soft part of the throat forward. It makes a sound. And that sound kind of clues you into how you're doing your practice, too. So if you, if you lose sight of the sound, or if you cannot tune into that sound, you probably let your mind wander. And it's really important for um, many, many reasons for all of us who practice yoga to really, really stay grounded, stay present, so that we're not injuring ourselves, we're not checking out, we're not moving with, on autopilot. Let's go ahead and bring the arms down now and open your eyes. Sweep your arms up, up halfway with the palms turned up, just up in line with your shoulders. And as you exhale, bring the arms back down with the palms still facing out. Inhale, palms up, just shoulder height. Exhale, arms down, palms face out. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Good, this time turn the palms in, face the hips. Inhale, reach the arms halfway up. Now turn your palms up and bring the arms the rest of the way up to the sky. Joining your palms above your head without looking up to see where they are. Turn the palms out and slowly lower your arms all the way down. But think about resisting. So as your arms push down, they're, are, reach down, they're pushing down as though there's a resistance there. And you can work as hard or as gently as you need to today. Again, inhale, reach the arms halfway up so they're in line with the shoulders. Turn the palms up and sweep the arms overhead. Join the palms together over your head, touching the pads of your fingers together and the thumbs touch together as well. Turn the palms out and bring the arms down with as much resistance as you would like to. Slowing down this movement to engage your muscles. Again, inhale, arms halfway up, so right at shoulder height. Turn the palms up and keep sweeping the arms overhead. Touch the pads of your fingers and the pads of your thumbs together. Spread the fingers out as wide as they will go now. Bend your elbows, hold this for a moment, bend the elbows, bring the thumbs down to touch your head, and then arms back up straight. Just two more like that. Thumbs bend, I'm sorry, thumbs down, elbows bend. And straighten out the arms. Thumbs down, bend the elbows, pull the elbows even further away from each other. And one more time, arms reach up. Go ahead, turn the palms out, sweep the arms down slowly. A little more resistance perhaps than you have up to this point, so it's like you're pushing Two heavy, heavy things down away from the ground, away from the earth, the sky to the earth, and finally release. Good. Take your shoulders up around your ears and back down. Shoulders up and back down. Strongly pull the shoulder blades down as well. One more time. Shoulders up and down. Now inhale the shoulders up. As you exhale, you're going to pull them back. And then down, shoulder blades really strongly pulling down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, pull back, and then down. One more time. Inhale, shoulders up, back, and down on exhale. And this time, shoulders up and forward. Exaggerating this, and down. Inhale, shoulders up, forward, and down. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, forward, and down, great job. Just shake your arms out. Make sure you're not locking out your knees. It's super easy to do. I still do it after all these years. 
In fact, one time I fainted because I did that in a crowd of people. <laughs> so it's not something you want to do. We're going to turn sideways now. And I'm going to have you bring uh, yourself onto a wall. I should have mentioned that earlier. So I want you to position yourself on a wall here. I'm going to slightly change the vantage point. So if you need to move to a wall, now is your opportunity. Okay. So from here, you're putting your hand on your wall. Maybe if you have a yoga sticky mat, you're standing under the sticky mat so that you know you're not going to slide. Okay. Right hand, let's start with everybody has their right hand on the wall. We're going to bring the left knee up. Bring your left hand to your left hip. A lot of this is asymmetry as well, so really good for sending these messages through your body in a way we don't normally do. Bring that left knee up on your exhale. Good, and then inhale, swing it back. Exhale up, inhale back. Good, and do this a few times. Keep going. Notice how this is my hip that's moving, my leg that's moving. It's not my back, right? This is not happening, right? It's just moving the leg bone through the hip socket. Good. Let's finish with that. That's about 12 or 13, who knows? <laughs> Let's turn around and do the other side. Bring that right knee up, holding here for a moment. Right hand comes to right hip. Keep your left knee from locking. Take an exhale here and bring that knee in a bit closer. And then inhale back, exhale in. Inhale back, exhale in. Move through the hip, not through the spine. Yes, your back will arch a bit as you inhale and your back will round just a tiny bit as you exhale. But we're not, again, we're not over kicking and swinging, right? Make it a controlled movement. Four more. Three, two, and last time. Good, and release. Nice. Turn back around so that the right hand is on the wall. And by the way, you don't have to use the wall, but just keep it near if you need to reach out. One of the things that can happen is that we lose our sense of balance more easily, so the wall is just there to support you in that. I really like the wall myself. You're going to take your left hand to your left knee now. You're going to rotate the knee open and across the body, like you're trying to point your left knee to the wall. Inhale, open and close. Inhale, open and close. Inhale, open and close. This time, hand to hip and do it without your arm helping you. Close. And yes, you can rotate through your whole body if you want to. Just make sure you're not twerking this right knee. Very, very important, okay? So only go as far as you can while keeping the right knee soft and stabilized. And you'll feel it when you go too far. Good. Two more. And last time. And bring the left foot down, shake the legs out, switch sides. Bring your left hand to the wall. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Pick up your right knee, oh, actually right hand comes to right knee this time. Open it up first and take it across. You're gonna do six of these, open and across. Three and across even more. Check in with your left knee, soften that left knee and make sure you're not twerking, we're not twisting from the knee. Good. I lost count of course, so let's just do one more. <laughs> and release the hand, but keep this going. Exhale across, inhale to open. Exhale across, inhale to open. Exhale across. Good, one more time, exhale across. You can switch at any time or stop at any time, but you can always use your arm here. Go ahead and walk your legs out again, turn around. Left hand to left hip again. Huge inhale here. Now again, you don't need to use the wall, you can just have it near you. 
Bring the left leg up and lean down. And then back up. Left foot down next to right. Bring it forward so the left leg is going to come parallel with the floor and the chest is parallel. And then back up. One more time like this. Down on exhale. Back up on inhale. If this is straining your right knee, step closer to the wall. If you want to go a little further, we're going to bring the left arm forward as the left leg reaches up. And then the left arm will come up as the left leg comes down. Good. Reaching forward and back. And back up. Forward and back. You can always bring your hand to your hip again. And back up. Good. Three more. Exhale down to parallel. Inhale back up to standing. Exhale down. And back up. Last time. Exhale, reach. Pull yourself apart. And bring it back up. Shake out both legs and turn around. Left hand to the wall or near the wall. Right hand to right hip to begin with. Take your inhale. Exhale, right leg comes up. And bring it back in. You don't even have to lift it that high, right? We're just sending messages. That's the important part. And we're not over holding so that we don't over tax these muscles. One more time. Like this. Good. And then adding on if you'd like to. Right arm comes up. Inhale. Exhale. Right arm reaches to the front. Left to side. Right leg reaches to the back. Inhale. Bring it back up. Five more. Exhale. Parallel with the floor. Activate your arm and your leg. Bring it back up. Exhale. Reach forward and back. And bring it back up. Exhaling forward and back. Inhale, reach and get a little taller. Good, and then release and walk those legs out. Great job. I'm going to have you step back so that your heels are at the baseboard of that wall. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's take your arms so that they're facing, the palms are facing out. The backs of the shoulders are on the wall. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. See how high you can get those arms to reach against the wall and bring them all the way back down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Please bend your knees. See if you can touch the thumbs and back down. And one more time. This time, maybe you can um, not only touch the thumbs, but turn the palms in so that all of your, all of your fingers are touching and then sweep them back down. Good. Now walk your heels probably, let's say, six to eight inches away from the wall. Take an inhale, reach half, or just open up. Let's just have the palms facing forward now. And you're going to sit back to touch the wall. Down on exhale, and inhale back up. Down on exhale, inhale back up. This isn't the easiest thing we'll do. Down on exhale, and inhale back up. Three more. <laughs> Down on exhale. And inhale back up. Two more. Sinking. And rising. And one more time. Please make sure you're never locking your knees out. And come back up. Nice job. Walk the heels back toward the wall first. Lower your arms down. Take a breath and just make sure you're not dizzy. Make sure you can definitely feel the support of your legs. Good. And then walk away from that wall again. All right, this time again, right hand to the wall or just, you know, standing with yourself, with your arm available. Okay, you're going to bring your left leg up with your left knee bent. Unhinge at your left leg so the left leg becomes straight. Inhale, lift the left leg higher. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, your right knee comes up. You can bring your right hand to the wall at any time. Exhale, extend the right leg straight. Hold on your inhale. Slowly, slowly lower your right leg to the floor. Please use the wall if you need to at any time. Inhale, lift the left knee. 
Exhale, unhinge that knee so the leg is straight. Inhale, lift the leg higher. Slowly, this is the part I really want you to work on. Slowly, slowly lower the leg down. Inhale, bring right knee up. Exhale, unhinge, straighten out your right leg. So you may want to just use the wall for this part, right? Holding here with the help of the wall and then slowing down with the help of the wall if you need to. Let's just do one more. <laughs> Take an inhale, lift that left knee. Exhale, extend. Inhale, hold. Exhale, even more slowly release, sending the message for a longer period of time through the leg. Inhale, last time, right knee comes up. Exhale, root through the sole of your right foot as the leg straightens. Inhale, lift a little higher. Slow, slow, slow descent. And once the foot lands, take a deep inhale. Good. And as you exhale, release, step away from the wall for a moment. Shake those legs out. We've got one more thing to do here. Your left hand is going to come to the wall. <clears throat> take your inhale. And this time we're going to bring the right leg back and bend the right knee. Bring your right heel towards your right wrist and release. Bring the left heel up, left heel to left glutes and release. This is working your hamstrings. Bend your right knee, right heel to right glutes and release. And left heel to left glutes and release. If you want to go a little further and you want to work that brain a little more, reach back with your right hand to touch your right toes. And release. Reach back with your left hand to touch your left toes. And release. Right hand to right toes. And release. Left hand to left toes. And release. Now, if you want to really work hard, we're going to change the arm. So as the right knee comes, I'm sorry, you bend your right knee, reach around with your left hand to touch and bring it back down. Reach with your right hand to touch and bring it back down. Left hand to right toes and down. Right hand to left toes and down. One more time. Use the wall as much as you need to, or not at all if you don't need to. And release, great job today. Bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes. If you have time, I'll invite you to stretch out on your mat and close your eyes. If you, uh, if you do have uh, just a, one more minute, the other thing that I'll um, invite you to do is the same thing we did on the first. So let's go ahead, and let's everybody take a seat. It'll just be easier. And um, we're gonna do that same thing that we did on the first video, which is just to take your fingers inside your toes. You can do this on a seated on a chair, seated on the floor, seated on a prop. Okay, so we're gonna bring the fingers inside the toes and I'd like you today to just rotate through the ankle after all of the work that we did standing, that's important. And then reverse that. Good, and then flex your toes, keep the fingers there and you may need to Use your other hand to help you get the toe, the fingers in between the toes. Super, super important for us all, but especially if you are dealing with some nerve damage of any kind. And you're going to point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Good. Release that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Bring your left fingers in between your left toes. You could also do this with, um, again, asymmetry, right? You could bring your right hand in between, your right fingers in between your left toes. You could do that too, good. Start by circling the arm, the, the arm, circling through the ankle. And reversing the circle. Think about all the nerve endings you have in your fingers and your toes. Send them some love, send them some messages. Practice all day long if you can, you know, of just making sure that your feet are alive, your fingers are alive, that'll help too. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Good. And again, we're going to release that. 
Um, go ahead, like I said, if you have time, lie onto your back. Move into Shavasana. And rest here for at least another two or three minutes. If you do have the time, I highly recommend it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope you enjoyed that. Take care and namaste.